Hey there traders, what's going on? Todd here with tradinganalysis.com. This is gonna be a free video update. We're gonna do this for what, Thursday, February 25th. And New York Traders Expo was over yesterday. Ooh, those things are, they're fun. Um, I had a lot of speeches. I think I had four speeches, couple interviews. Um, and you know, it's great and it was really well attended. Uh, the first session I did on Sunday was about fib and there was almost 300 people in the room. There were like people standing in the back, standing in the front, or sitting on the carpet. Um, people love fib, so it's awesome. So after, I, I was gonna do some live crude oil analysis and I couldn't get to it uh, because we had to get out of the room, but the group in front of me made me promise that I do crude oil in the free video. For So for you guys, here we go. All right, here we are, crude. Um, so obviously we're in a downtrend. Stock market came back pretty well today and it looks like this guy could move up towards, you see those lows over there? Uh, it looks like that's what could happen. So first thing I wanna do is study correction, compare a prior correction compared to um, the current correction. So I'm just gonna hit the drop down here in the signal and we're gonna go to the measured move and we're gonna take this blue dot low to blue dot high. This is a swing waves indicator that I use to pick out the most important turning points and that reduces a lot of the subjectivity of FIB because a lot of people will come to me and say, well, I don't know where to start and stop the FIB because there's all these swing points and it's too, too subjective to be of any use. And the other objection that I hear is, well, there's so many different FIB levels, how do you know which one to use? Both are extremely valid points and let me see if I can address both of them right now. So I think the most important swings are these blue dot lows to blue dot highs. These are the major swings. So, this is obviously a counter trend rally against the downtrend, so I wanna take a snapshot of that distance and project it up. So quality, or the measured move is at 39.67, or what we'd call symmetry between um, corrections within the same downtrend. On top of that, I wanna go off this blue dot high down to the low, and these guys won't get a blue dot until we have 21 bars um, to the right that do not exceed this low, and that will tell you you're at a substantial low. Um, so let's go from the highs, and I'm gonna do a retracement low to high. I have no idea why my cursor looks like that. That's all right, a little bug. And we're starting to kind of stack the zone. I'm gonna see where, you know, where the, the, the FIB starts to cluster around the 100%, and it's right there, all right? So I'm gonna get rid of 38, uh, get rid of 236, 38, and I'm just watching over to the side. 786 looks to be at in a zone and 618 is fine. We'll get rid of everything else. Okay, so that's a pretty good little zone right there. I then wanna go to a smaller time frame. Let's get down to 195 minute. And I like to do an extension of this final decline up, all right? And we talked about something pretty fun um, in the course or in the, uh, in the in the talk let me just change these colors to make them different so they all stand out uh, we'll go green okay perfect now the key relationship I want to talk to you about is the 78.6 when the 78.6 percent price retracement breaks there's a very good chance you're going to go to the 1272 extension now everything below hundred percent here okay is considered a Fibonacci retracement once you get above 100%, then you go into extension territory. The 786 is the final retracement. That's the retracement of last resort. If we break 3267 in, in crude oil, there's a very good chance we're going up to the 1272, which is gonna be at $36.75. That's a 1272 extension. And then you have this cluster of FIB resistance from the higher time frame, which is right about here. So it looks to be that we have a pretty good shot of breaking 786, getting up to 36 and three quarters, and if we break through, we can continue on to about the $40 region in crude. All right, so that's gonna be the upside focus in crude. Stocks came back pretty sharply today. Uh, crude oil did not participate as much as you think, but if these shorts continue to cover, looks like 40 is gonna be the next target in crude oil. All right, guys, so leave it there. If you're watching on YouTube, please go ahead and like this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, it helps the content rise up, and if you'd like to hear from me regularly, be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel and we'll get this stuff to you as they come out. Good luck. Thanks to uh, everyone who came over and, and uh, said hi at the Traders Expo. I enjoyed meeting you guys. I'll see you next week.